Jim. I'm Albert. Let's talk barbecue! Welcome to today's show. Today, we're going to use a grill and a brush. And together, we're going to create a barbecue sensation. <laughs> You're crapping me negative. <laughs> <laughs> we got Let's take Western. a look over here, Jim. We got Western Family Brand. These are Western Family Brand briquettes. Some of the best. They're the best briquettes ever. Here, let me get that for you. But don't worry about ashes, because that's all charcoal briquettes are anyway. Okay. Okay. Next thing you gotta do is you gotta light them. They're boiling now. They are boiling. See, you see how they're burning there? Like that? See that? See that? See? That's Watch how they're burning. That. Watch That's out what for you that. wanna do. First, you wanna get them going. Okay. So they have a nice little fire going. You wanna have an amber glow. You gotta have an amber glow. Not an auburn glow. An amber glow. So let's just. We'll just watch the amber glow. Okay, this will take about 45 minutes, so talk Just amongst take yourselves. A look. Take a close look. That's how you start them, and that's the way you want them to look at this point in time. And don't stop the camera because we really want to see the effect. This is not time lapse, ladies and gentlemen. My neck's going to get a hurt in here. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, now, let's summarize. Let's, let's move on to something else. Let's okay, so first of all, what do you need? A grill? You need a brush. And some of these briquettes that are boiling over here. They're boiling. Now, we're going to let those boil for a little while. Yeah, well, then, you set the brush right down in there, and then you the go have another warm. beer. While those are boiling, we're going to go in and prepare our, our Hamburger cheese sandwiches. We're going we're gonna to pound the meat. We're going to form gonna the pound patties. It. And come on in, we'll show you how you do that. Yeah, because don't wash your hands first, though, because that gives the whole barbecue effect. That's right. So stay with us. This is Jim. I'm Albert. And we're Let's talk Barbecue! Yeah, not yet. Yeah, yeah, you goofball. You messed that up. I'm Jim. And I'm Albert. Ooh, let's talk Barbecue! Okay, what we got here is we got meat. We got some meat patties here, Jim. We got this at the Century Market down the street. We did, and we it's got five, fresh. five pounds of it for four bucks. Barbecues should be economical, and we've got one here. And you can use any kind of spatula to scoop these things up. Now, these are perfectly formed patties. We prefer this, this spatula here. That's my ashtray. It Let's works. not forget the condoms. Mints. Condoms. Okay, first we want to put a little of this on there, don't we? Yeah, we want to put a little bit of that on there, just fake what it. What is that? If nothing's in there, Perfect. just fake it. It's good. It's a good little piece. of this. Little of that. Some of this. You want to have all the good stuff on there? Yeah. yeah. Before you put these on the grill. Albert, I'd like to tell, have them tell you, you tell them what yeah. these are, huh? This, what these, are these here? Yeah. Here we have your, uh, your red onions. What we're going to do here is we're going to grill the boigas. Then we're going to put on some of the red onions. Over here we have a yet tomatoes. Now, are we going to grill these, Albert? No. no. These go on as condoms. condoms. Mints. Con mints. Condo mints. That's dessert. An essential to every barbecue is plenty of Sprite, plenty of beer, and you got to have your uh, uh, your hamburger hamb relish right here. Some you gotta have your horseradish mustard and your ketchup. You gotta have ketchup. We know. Oh! Of course, then again, if you don't like hamburgers, you can have hot dogs. Let's start barbecue! I'm Jim. And I'm Albert. Ooh, let's talk barbecue! Okay, the most important thing about a barbecue, you gotta have the right instruments. Utensils. Now you gotta have the most important things here. 
Jim, I got one here. All I right. got one of these. What do you use that for, Albert? We use that to stir up the coals and make sure they're all hot and gruey. Excellent. You know what you do with this? That's, there's the, uh, one of those. Yeah, you take this. If you don't get what you need with that, uh, egg beater charcoal thing, you just scoop them up and turn them right over. Right like that. This. Yeah. Then, when you're thinking about moving over the boigas and stuff, you can pick them up with one of these. Just pick them up and flip them on over. Yeah, well, that'd be good, except for one thing. You want to make sure that it's kind of without the rubber. I mean, yeah, the rubber doesn't burn. Get, no. And this, if you're cooking a pizza on a barbecue, you got to use that afterwards. This will cut up the pizza. Yeah, just put just put it on the pizza. Cut it up. Ow! Oh, oh, oh! I'm all right. All right. It's going to leave a bruise. Absolutely. Now this, these are the kind of things that you really want to have. You got to have these. Yeah, you got to. Give me one of those. Well, I can't. I can't pick them all up. Okay. This is the best one. This one. You can either use it as a scoop or you could use it as a, a scoop. scoop. We so, call it a scoop. scoop. Do we have burgers? We got burgers or do we have burgers? We're going to put these on the grill. And let's take a look at how well this is This is. Jim, show there. them those coals. Oh, how do those, those coals look? They look really good. Put a little ash out in there. How's that butter? First thing man? you want to do is you want to get rid of this. Put Save it for later. Yeah. Then you take a burger. Kind of like this, yeah. You take the scoop thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, no. don't you guys try this at home. We are professionals. Now, you got to put this on. Right the grill. there. Ah, listen to it sizzle. Listen to it sizzle. Listen to it sizzle. You gotta get it off the scoop. Get it thing. off the scoop. Oh, there it is. It's sizzling. Ooh, let's, let's talk barbecue. Now, when you start with ovens, you get all confused. What's the temperature? What is, is it gas? How do you control it? it? Where do you put it up? Up, down, up, down. Is it high? What is high? Is it high is 425, low is what? 175? Do you know this thing? You got an oven like this? You have no idea what you're cooking at. With barbecue, you know, you know exactly what you're cooking, and what temperature you're cooking. That's why we take these ingredients out to the barbecue and put them on, and that way we know exactly what we're doing. Come on, let's Come on, now. Come on we're going to go barbecue some barbs. Dogs. Get out of the barbecue. Go down to the barbecue. Wieners. I like barbecue. See that your, your coals are really hot. Okay. The first thing, the key to a good barbecue is high quality ingredients. Here we have some of your Jumbo Franks. These are good, they're original, and they don't come any better than this, do they, Jim? No, they don't! So we're gonna put? Put a couple of them on, see how they do. This goes a couple of them. Okay. Notice how they... Uh, this is for the kids. Notice how they fit on there so well. They're, they're for the kids, because you want you're gonna wanna cut them up anyway, so why waste? The, the knife. So you just want to sh put them in there like this. See how you do that right there? You got to leave a little bit hanging there. It's called, we call it foreskin in the business. Foreskin. For those of you who are like, you know, you want you want the real thing, we're going to put the whole jumbo frank on there. Remember now, those, Jim, it's important how you put if them you on want, there, If you want it? to see Jumbo Frank's house, Jumbo Frank Roche, he's over there, over next to the Lanai. And you put it right on the on the coal right there. Yep. And if you get really impatient, just put the whole package on, like that. Okay. There's one. There's two. You put on as many as you want. Three. Can't, Jim, am I wrong? No, you're not wrong, Al. But you're right. You're absolutely right. You put on as many as you want to put on. Okay. You got to move the weenies around. Sometimes. You got to take wiggle, note of that. You got to wiggle the weenie. You have to wiggle the weenie and, and make it. Are they getting hot? Oh, they're hot. So now we just wait. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait. You know why? Because I'm Jim. And I'm Albert. Let's talk barbecue. <laughs> I'm Jim. I'm Albert. I'm Adrian. Ooh, let's talk barbecue. Now we just finished a whole episode of barbecue and hamburgers, weenies, buns, whatever. They're all beautiful. And now we have Adrian here. Adrian, our good friend, who's going to tell you 
what he thinks about our burgers. They're great. They're great. Did you hear that? They're great. One more time. Come on, eat the whole thing. They're great. Put it in your mouth. Jeet, the whole thing. He's got tomatoes, he's got burgers. Get it all in there. Get, Get it, it in all there. in there. <laughs> anyway, until our next time, until the next show we do for you, oh. I'm Jim. <laughs> I'm Hal. And ooh, <laughs> let's talk barbecue. barbecue.